Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So this is gonna be for Capricorn. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm gonna do your next 48. Let's see what's coming in here for you. Oh, okay. So we have first energy out is the Six of Wands. It's the fire sign energy, Aries, a Leo or Sagittarius. This is someone who has victories, wins, recognition, this energy could be your energy. It could be somebody around you as well. For Capricorn. Wow, so we have the energy of a Leo in the cross. Self-control, courage, gentle strength. Five of Cups is here, the energy of emotional sadness or loss. Recent past or crowning your energy. We have a Queen of Wands, Fire Sign, and Aries Leo Sagittarius. Somebody strong, somebody here who is a leader, professional. Crowning Capricorn, the Magician, Manipulation, Manifestation, wanting to make something happen, manipulate a situation, could be Gemini, okay, so what is in the future energy for Capricorn? The Queen of Cups, Water Sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone who is showing you love, they're showing you compassion. It could be you as well. There's two people here, two queens. So these two people are very strong. They're leaders, they're not children, they're adults. They're not pages. And they're supporting you if you're in this Five of Cups sense of sadness or loss. Okay, so your energy here has the lovers. There's some kind of a blessing over you and perhaps another person. We have your environment has a stable situation with four of wands. It's a, it's a home of stability. Two people here have reached a goal of a stable situation. Okay, so you're wanting the chariot. You're wanting to move ahead and overcome any challenges um, by pushing forward, overcoming difficult challenges by just staying motivated, moving ahead, staying motivated. Final outcome is Empress. The Empress is symbolic of everything abundant, fertile, flourishing, um, the energy of great abundance. Okay, so what is the lover's energy here for Capricorn? Why is the lover showing up? Why is the lover showing up for Capricorn? Gemini energy again. You could have a Gemini around you. What is this? Oh, so there's a Ten of Cups. Total emotional fulfillment, long-term emotional fulfillment here. What is the Ten of Cups about? Okay, so we have here contemplating, thinking about your investments, thinking about what to do next in a situation. Could be thinking about money or finance. Okay, so what is the Queen of Cups energy? An Ace of Cups, a new potential for love, healing, happiness, or peace. But it's a new beginning. It's peace coming into your situation. What is the Five of Cups about here? What is the Five of Cups? 
the Four of Cups. So there was sadness and disinterest. It was like something didn't go the way you wanted. Someone was dismissive. They didn't pay attention. What is the magician here for Capricorn? Wow, so somebody is with the energy of a warrior where they're refusing to give up on a situation. Nine of Wands with a Ten of Swords. Wow, this situation is really hard. It feels very mentally draining, physically draining, but there's a lot of maneuvering going on. What is the Empress energy? Is the outcome? Empress energy is the outcome. Five of Wands. So this is something about competitive energy of conflict. Um, it has to do with people who have opposing interests. Highly competitive. Fighting. Turmoil. And you're putting yourself first with the Empress. Now, the Empress energy is everything that's abundant, self-care, self-respect. What is the Empress? The Page of Swords. Somebody could be watching you. There's Gemini energy here. Somebody could be watching you, putting you on a pedestal, thinking that you are everything that they want to be. What is the Page of Swords? Seven of Swords. There's somebody that doesn't want to get caught. It's the energy of... They're watching you, but at the same time, they're being sneaky. What is the Four of Wands? The World card. So the environment you're in is in a situation where people have worked very hard it's the energy the world is about achievement where somebody may have you know um, worked very hard studied very hard worked and to achieve a goal of a stable happy home here clarify the lovers and the ten of cups and the seven of coin capricorn's energy five of swords there was a conflict here in this situation. This is the energy of conflict. Somebody who likes to be divisive, fighting, arguing, words that are filled with blame, accusations. Five of Swords can be accusations. It's the energy of war, like fighting. So then on the bet, we have Scorpio or the Death card here. Some of you could be dealing with the Scorpio death card and the ace of swords so there's some kind of information here or new information coming up about an ending or about a transformation something is changing in a big way it's a full transformation here's the ace of swords here um, empress five of wands somebody here could really want material wealth with the empress that is the energy of somebody who wants nice things, money, could be um, something like that. Okay. Empress energy can be a Taurus. We do have Gemini. What is the Ace of Cups here for Capricorn? Six of Cups, and then Six of Swords, moving on, blocking, moving on. Could be somebody returning. Wow, the Judgment. Something being raised up. The Hangman. The Death card. There's an ending here. There's a Harsh Judgment. But there's an ending and then somebody's thinking about 
what do I have left? What is the magician? What is the magician? The, the devil? Manipulation of a situation. It could be toxic in some way, but we do have Ten of Pentacles here. Money, wealth, and abundance is here. Ooh, and Ten of Cups. Wow. What is the Five of Cups then? Why is this here? Okay, so the moon. There was something hidden. Something hidden in the dark. The Hermit. Somebody who spends a lot of time in isolation or alone. And then the Five of Pentacles. Somebody who is feeling left out in the cold, sad, abandoned. What is the Empress energy here? Why are we getting Empress again? Nine of Wands. Somebody who won't give up. Okay. And what is this Nine of Wands about? Seven of Swords. There's this energy of deception, lies, sneaking around, trying to not get caught doing something. Okay, well, let's see what comes in for Capricorn. So I got a lot of cards at once. I'm only going to take one for Capricorn. What are the energies for Capricorn? <laughs> Find the blessing in your current situation with Krishna. Um, I don't know a lot about Hinduism, but I thought Krishna is peaceful, but can get very angry if needed, if necessary. So I have go now. And then I have work your magic. Saint Germain. And then I have here nurture yourself with Mother Mary. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it here for you guys. Thank you very much for watching my channel and take care.